Good morning, it's the vlog morning. Hello everybody, I thought I'd do another vlog. It is tipping it down outside, so I thought I'd show you all the stuff I've got done for the wedding. And um, I need to bath the dogs today, so that's gonna be fun. So, just thought, it's been a while, let's just, you know, catch up. We've bought these wooden letters and I've just been painting them white so these say Mr and Mrs and then we've got these big you know those like cardboardy letters that you can get Hello. so we've got Vicky and Louie in these so they're gonna go up if you watch our other videos of the um, canopy structure that we've built they're going to go on the back wall next to the, um, like on the pallet wood fence. So the white is really going to stand out. And they're super cheap to do. And I've literally just been using a sponge and I've got my System 3 acrylic paints, which are the best acrylic paints for on a budget. Um, that was from Hobbycraft. So I've literally just been painting these. And I do just need to finish, finish these. These are a bit fiddly, so I have got a paintbrush to do those. So I'm just gonna finish these off. Oh, also, we've got these. Um, these are actually fake. How, how good are they? Natural grasses, but they're fake. Um, and then we've got some uh, like fake ferns as well. So those are gonna be for the wedding as well. I just built paint all down me, down my lovely tracksuit bottoms. Don't do this, don't be mean. Don't wear nice things. Right, crisis averted. Just had to use an exfoliating glove to get the blooming paint off. Anyway. So, I just wanted to have a little chat about, while I'm doing this, try not to get paint down me again. Um, just a little bit about the pandemic and how it's kind of changed me and how it's I think changed a lot of people that I know um it's just been a really strange time and it's been a real eye-opener and what we're trying to do with this channel well this channel kind of came out of covid before this ever happened I was very much I want the nine to five I want the stability I want the contract job and I'm gonna get money everything's safe get the mortgage get the house you do all the things that you think you should do and that's what I had done my whole life I went to school I went to college I went straight to uni I didn't go traveling I went straight from uni to a job for five years and then the pandemic happened I used to work for events and then unfortunately that company had to like many companies do redundancies because of the pandemic and there was just no event so that's what it was you don't actually grasp what you have you don't take advantage of those privileges that we have so for example whether you agree with brexit or not it has now <coughs> limited us to be able to just move to any country within the eu to move like we could have just moved to spain or portugal and it would be fine. Whereas now we're not part of that. We have to apply for residency. We have to apply for visas. Everything is now against us. <clears throat> Things are still possible, but it's just harder. And we took that for granted and now we don't have it. It's a lot harder. And the same with not being able to travel. We could just get on a plane and go wherever we wanted. And then when that was taken from us, it's like, you know, you work these nine to five jobs to earn money, pay for a mortgage, because that's what we're told that we should do. And get a house and do all these things. But most people, when you look around, especially when you're commuting, I mean, I used to commute on the train, people are miserable. They're miserable, they're in their phones. They're not living to their full potential and they're working really hard to provide for their families, to pay for the house, to pay for the schools, to then live for the weekend, to either drink or, or, or not, you know, spend a little time with their families. 
to then go back to work again and it's like this continuous cycle and everyone was really tired and when I stopped doing my commute when we all got ha you know, had to work from home I was surprised how mentally exhausted I was. Having a nine to five, having a job, having a mortgage, what does that even mean at the end? You're still either putting a care home or all your possessions like just they don't come with you you have your memories and you have your experiences and that's what we want to do we want to put our time and invest in memories and experiences and actually value the people around us and value our family and we're trying to cut down on as much stress as possible and see the world that's what it's about we've put on this amazing beautiful world and we want to see it and what's the worst that's going to happen what is the worst that's going to happen? You know, I used to think, oh, if I haven't got a career, it's not a proper job. Any job's a proper job. If you're getting money, you shouldn't be snobby about it. You know, I went to university. <clears throat> now I work with horses. I look after people's horses and I love it. I'm outside, I'm with animals. I work for myself. I have freedom. I work for some amazing people. I love my job. I don't see it as a job. I get up every day and I think, I've got to go look after those horses, it's not I've got to go to work and I never ever think that. And if it wasn't for the pandemic, I never ever would have broken out of being at the job I was and I would have got a house and a mortgage and I would have been stressed and I would have felt trapped. And this channel is about us, you know, not living that life. And it's terrifying because there's all these, there is the uncertainty, there is the unreliability of you know money and all these things but I think it's just a new kind of thing you've got to figure out it's just a new kind of life you've got to figure out people should be allowed to work from home spend more you know family time quality time with your loved ones which was just taken for granted before because <clears throat> everyone was in the same boat no one judged anybody because everyone was having to do the same thing at the end of the day if you work for a big company you're just making somebody else rich and you're just a number which is what I found you are just a number, you are replaceable and you know that's what it shouldn't be about because if god forbid you get bad news about your health what have you done? You, you look back at your life and think I've lived it to my absolute fullest, I've done something every day that's made me feel uncomfortable, pushed me out of my comfort zone, it's made me actually feel something live that life we want to travel we want to be as self-sustained as possible we don't want materialistic things we're trying to cut down and we want to spend our money on experiences so that's why we're you know we're having the wedding in the garden it's an amazing memory to have it at our family home it's an amazing memory for our families it's you know we're it's, an, it's like a community feel we're all contributing and doing arts and crafts and it's just it will just be a memory for life we owe a lot to our families and the opportunities that they've given us and i would hope to give this home to my children one day i, I would be very proud <laughs>
sini. <laughs>